Hello there. We're going to do a quick uh, snapshot of how to put in a time off request and how to see your time off requests. So right now I'm logged in uh, to my account. <clears throat> this is uh, uh, the dashboard. You can see lit up over here, the upper uh, left and we're going to do a time off request. So we're going to go down to uh, time off and you'll see in here that I have some time off requests already in and some of these are pending. In other words, they're not approved yet and others uh, were approved. Okay, so we're going to go from here and we're going to put in a new vacation request. We're going to hit the plus arrow here to add a request. We're going to come over. We're going to select our home low org, which for me is the facilities division. We're going to state that we want vacation. We're going to select custom date range. And that allows us to do a few things. Uh, one, it's going to allow me to select a consecutive date range. Uh, of several days uh, or a week or longer, uh, all from a beginning to an end date. But it also allows me to select a portion of the day. In other words, if I need to be off from 12 noon uh, to uh, 8 p.m., I can, I can go in and also create a, a request for a portion of a day off vacation. Maybe if I only need two hours, uh, I can do that using the custom feature. Now, if I want, um, so let's go in on the on uh, the 16th, and if I need to be off starting at 12 p.m., 12 noon, I can select that and um, as my start, and then I can come down here same day and say, and I need to be off until um, the end of my shift, which let's say that's at 4 p.m. So that, that gives me a request of just four hours. And I can say I want vacation and I can put a note in here that I have to sign some papers. The notes are for your supervisor. They will see the notes and they also can be for you as you will see the notes also. Now we're going to demonstrate how to use the custom feature to request consecutive days off. So we're going to start by clicking a date and I'm going to jump into the next week and we're going to specify that this request is going to start at 12 a.m. and um, we're going to make it a request. We'll, we'll go ahead and go for it here. We're going to request the whole week off. So we're going to select to the 25th and I'm going to push this request until 12 p.m. So that encompasses the whole window between Monday to Friday, and it'll create what's, what's also called an all-day request. So again, I can put notes in here if I want, and then I can make this request. We're going to look over here in our uh, um, home base dialog box here for time off. And we're going to see that that request created today is from the 21st to the 25th, 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. So it's a it's for the whole day. Those are all day requests. And that whole week is wrapped up in one request. If you want to select non-consecutive days or just one day off, uh, you can use the interface here that says days and just click and select a date. Boom. You can also select 
again, non-consecutive dates using this tool. And if you notice here, it's, it's, it's filling the dialog box with individual dates. Be aware that this will create individual requests. So you don't want to use this tool if you, what you really want are a series of consecutive dates. That concludes our time here today, showing you three ways to use the time off feature. Have a great vacation.